What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today we jump into Bee Swarm Simulator. It has been a good few weeks since our last Bee Swarm episode. Today we answer the question, where have I been? What have I been doing? And we are also finally gonna be purchasing the brand new Tide Popper weapon. I've got the wax, I've stacked the wax, I've crafted the wax. We're nearly ready to drop uh, drop some serious wax. It's gonna be a very waxy episode. Let's go. So, three, two, one, the hive is already claimed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys and girls are doing awesome. Uh, it has been a hot minute since our last episode. Firstly, uh, everything's fine, by the way. Everything's good. Essentially, I've just been playing Bee Swarm like everybody else. So, I've been working my way in these quests here, doing a little bit each and every day. There's only a certain amount that you can kind of do a day with some of these quests, and we're gonna talk about those in this episode. Ooh, free micro converter. But yeah, everything's good. Everything's fine. Um, and the good news is we're actually in next episode, which should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, we're going to talk about Beastmas 2. And not only are we going to kind of do like a little bit of a recap as to everything that we think is going to be coming in that update. Uh, I've also got a few other bits and pieces to show you. Maybe you haven't seen them. Some new bee quips and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a fun couple of episodes. But yeah, now that kind of, you know, Beastmas 1 and 1.5 are sort of coming towards the end of their journey. We don't actually have any official update date just yet for the second part of Beesmus. Um, but, you know, we've all been playing this particular update now for a little while now. So the support on the channel was amazing for all of the content. So thank you once again for being here and for dropping in. Uh, if we can try and get... I don't know, just, let's go low today. If we can try and get 2,000 likes on this episode, that would be really cool. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Right, right, right. What have I been up to? Where am I up to in these quests? There's a couple of stinkers in here, as I'm sure we all know. No. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So, here's the issues. Here is the struggles that I have had with some of these quests. <laughs> because I'm not going to lie, like, some of these, especially even for Beezus Part 1, are kind of tricky to do. Um, so, the good news is, we're actually going to be handing in our final... Um, Bee Bear quest. I've had this done for a really long time now, but I thought, you know what, let's just hand it in in an episode. This is currently the last quest for the Beesmas Part 1 for, for Bee Bear. So we'll go and hand that in in just a second. Um, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this one has been a bit of a stinker. So as you can see here, we're pretty much done with the honeybee quest. Um, we've done all the links, we've completed all the tokens. I need two more honey gift tokens. <laughs> I thought that was finished actually. But the only issue with this quest has been the honeysuckles. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if anyone's had this issue as well, but obviously like there's only a certain amount of honeysuckles that you can get every single day when you play Bee Swarm. So you have your Samovar over here, which you can hit twice a day, I guess, but it does have a six hour cooldown. And I seem to always forget to actually hit it the second time. So every time you hit it, of course, it does level up and it does give you some extra honeysuckle. Where's my music gone? Did I break the music? Bee Swarm is very quiet. Okay, the music plays here. And then it stops. And now it's quiet. How strange. <laughs> okay, for some reason the music isn't triggering. That's weird. Anyway, right, so as I was saying, um, there's only a certain amount of party stuff because you can get every single day. Um, and then you can also go to the memory match machine where you pay like 100 snowflakes and then you have a chance to get 15 in that as well. So, you know, realistically you get between 20 to 30 a day depending on like how many times you've hit it previously. But the issue has not necessarily been collecting the honeysuckles for me. It's been literally getting my character to use them. <laughs> It's been a nightmare. And that, I think, is the funny thing. So I changed, obviously, over to the blue hive, which, um, in case you missed that episode, basically, uh, we've been using a white hive for a really, really long time. We changed over to full blue. And I've really been enjoying, like, how the game works and, you know, this new different sort of play style. But the problem is, is that the longer and longer and longer you grind with a blue hive, the bigger and bigger and bigger your backpack gets. <laughs> obviously, you get, like, the bubble bloat, and then you've obviously got the balloons as well. And the more your backpack 
backpack increases in size, the less likely it is to trigger one of your honeysuckles because you've got way more space in your backpack. So actually getting these things to trigger has been a nightmare. And like when you jump in a field now, my capacity, because I had bubble blow earlier, it's now three times over the capacity of how big my hive is. And the honeysuckle won't trigger until I get just like 99% honey in my backpack. So I basically have to get rid of most of my backpack for it to trigger. But it's going to take ages if I just do use it like using my wand. So basically, you just have to like empty, start all over again, get it to the end, and then try and get those honeysuckles to trigger. So I've tried all different types of techniques. I've done like, you know, regular field boosting, you know, trying to get like lots and lots of pollen, you know, super duper quickly. I've tried like boosting without any buffs on just to try and kind of keep it full and then try and get it emptying as quickly as possible. Of course, there's a 30 second cooldown on it as well. I also tried doing the stump snail. Uh, and just having like a full backpack. So every single time it kind of clicked over, it would use one of my honeysuckles, which I think actually worked pretty well. But you can see here that I've only managed to use 100, uh, sorry, 712 of them. We still have 127, so that's not necessarily the problem getting them. It's just getting these things to trigger. <laughs> I would not have expected that. It's, uh, it's been tricky. Suppose it's just one of the quests where the only way you can really do it is just by playing and playing and playing. Um, so yeah, I've not found any of this other stuff difficult in terms of like collecting the honey tokens. I can get so many honey tokens from my balloons and stuff. Um, so that wasn't the issue. It's getting the honeysuckles to trigger. So annoying. And in terms of the other stuff, man, I'm not going to lie. These puff shrooms have been causing me nightmares. I still have zero out of five legendary puff shrooms. I have no idea how. I have done so many of these things. I just cannot for the life of me get a level five legend, get a legendary to trigger. I don't know why. And even like the ones in the mountaintop, man, I swear my puff shrooms never go to the mountaintop. And if they do, they're just regular ones. And as soon as I pop them, they just fly everywhere else. So yeah, I've only done 13 out of 35, 25 even. Gummy bears quest, man, it is a stinker. But yeah, aside from that, um, I've basically just been enjoying playing. Um, sort of, you know, doing some boosts and just collecting stuff and working towards getting all of those honey tokens. Um, which really, you know, it does take a little bit of time. Um, but you do sort of semi-get time-gated by the honeysuckles. And then, as I mentioned previously, like just earlier, uh, actually getting my character to use the honeysuckles <laughs> has been by far the most difficult thing about the honeybees quest. It's nearly done though, so I think by the next time you see me uh, in an episode, we will have that quest done. Um, not too sure about the gummy wear one though, man. Those puff rooms. Oh. So although we're going to grab the Tide Popper in just a second, I think I've kind of got sort of an idea as to how I can help myself with that. Obviously, the higher the level the planters that you've got, when you actually put those in the field and then they, you know, generate a puff shroom, uh, sorry, they, they start to get like stinky, um, then you've got a puff shroom there. But like better the planter, the higher level that puff shroom will spawn in at. So I'm kind of thinking the only realistic way is to like go high on the planters so i'm gonna grab myself the petal planter as soon as i can i think i'm just gonna need some more wax um and then maybe like the um pesticide planter as well i've been using the tacky planter and i've been using the red and blue ones a lot because you can use them over and over and over but the puff shrooms that they spawn i think the level is just too low so yeah that's gonna be uh, the next challenge <laughs> It's not been going well. Although it's not really all doom and gloom to be honest because like even if you're sort of failing with the puff shrooms like I am, uh, the more puff shrooms you do, the more free wax you get and then the wax can obviously be made into hard wax and then swirl wax uh, and you can use it to purchase some of the new things. So I'm going to have to then start stocking up again for the petal planter, which I think is going to be the next expensive thing that I want to get. Um, and maybe a couple of the other ones as well. But yeah, it's all basically to do with swirled wax. And if we rock ourselves over into the blue HQ. Where is it? 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 Oh, hang on, wait. Oh, we need more swirled wax. Oh, it's in my blender. Okay, good. We need 50 super smoothies as well. How many have we got? We have 47. Okay, three more super smoothies and a few more waxes. I think my wax should be done. Should we go and have a look? All right, let's go and take a little look-see here. Yes, my swirled wax is complete. And I think what we'll do is let's just rush through some super smoothies. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Purple potions, neon berries. What are we missing? Um, 
Are we missing... Hey, we are missing nine purple potions. Let's just speed that up. Boom. Uh, let's go back. The big moment. The big moment. Three more super smoothies. Boom. 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 Fantastic. All right. We've done it. <laughs> we've got enough finally for the Tide Popper. All right. So, um, yeah, I was talking with... Um, with Elol, I think when we were trying to do the legendary puff streams like a couple of weeks ago, and he was saying that like pretty much the um even something like the petal planter is probably more useful or beneficial than some of these new collectors just because of how it works and stuff. But I do think it's kind of like a, a sort of a, a statement piece. I really want the cool weapon, to be honest with you. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, 1,500 blue extract, 200 stingers, 150 tropical drinks, 75 swirled wax, 50 super smoothies. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! Hey, we got it! <laughs> <laughs> we received our Tide Popper. Look at that! <laughs> okay. Yo, it looks cool. Not gonna lie. I, the thing is, like, I think it's probably, like, my my least favorite looking out of the three new weapons. But at the same time, I think its ability is probably the coolest. So, look at that, man. Look at that. We did it. Yes! I love it. I love it. Hey, we can do waves. Oh, man, not going to lie. It feels so... We played with this a little bit in, like, the test realm. Um, but I'm so used to my um, my petal wand that seeing, like, a different weapon is actually kind of strange. Uh, but, of course, we did look at this. So I'm sure you guys know what this weapon does. You know, it has the tide power and stuff. Does it actually give you uh, an explanation anywhere? I think it does. Um, but, yeah, really, really cool weapon. So I'm going to have to sort of work out how most efficiently to use it with my character. Look at it. It's so blue. There we go. Fantastic. So, <laughs> now the issue is, if we want to go and make the petal planter, we need another 50 swirled wax. Um, I think. I think we need swirled wax. So, we've got no swirled wax now, and we've barely got any regular wax. Fantastic news. Um, which basically means I'm going to have to do a lot more buff shrooms. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's try and make at least as many hard wax as we can. Yeah, it's going to be puff shrooms, puff shrooms, puff shrooms. Uh, I'll tell you what. Seeing as I've got this ticket planter, uh, I'm just going to do this one quickly. This is just a regular cheat one. Um, let's see if I can get a single one in the mountaintop with a rare in like five minutes. Um, <laughs> let's find out, shall we? I'm going to pop a purple potion because why not? Three, two, one. Stinky boys. Yes. Yes, we finally got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness, man. Are you kidding? All right, can we get to Monochip? You're really not helping. Um, all right, we're going to have to do this <laughs> collector only because my bees is now going to attack Monochip. So, yeah, top tip. Don't spawn your puff shroom just seconds before Mondochick joins. Um, not the smartest move. <laughs> oh, we've had a shambles. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, you know what? At least we've got one. So, you know, that's... Uh, Normally better than I, I I normally do to be honest. Like I, I never really get them up here. It's a bit of a nightmare. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Come on. No. Level three. No. Where's it gone? Are they all gone? No. Oh, are you kidding? Unfortunately, I think that's about as many uh, old puffies as we're gonna be able to uh, to pop in this one. Stupid Mondo chick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, right, as I kind of mentioned, today uh, I kind of just wanted to come on and say hello, so I'd let you guys know where I'm up to with everything. I'm pretty much done, to be honest, just a couple of those stinker quests, which are just causing me a bit of a, 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 pain, <laughs> a bit of a nuisance. Uh, but yeah, next episode what we'll do is we'll cover like all of the stuff from Beezmus 2 that we know so far, including a few new things that I've not yet done in a video. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about that because I think that's really the next big main thing. Look at my balloons. Yeah, like, that's that's the next big thing, isn't it? Beesmus Part 2. Obviously, like, we have a bunch of stuff that Honest mentioned before. Uh, but I think it might be quite good to actually take a look back at that. Because a lot of the stuff I've forgotten. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as I said, I do also have some new stuff to share with you guys as well. Uh, so I'll see you in that episode. But we got the Tide Popper. Beautiful, look at that. <laughs> All right, okay. So, until next time. Thanks. And see ya.